Journey to the edge. I'm here with the Bat Commander from the Aquabats. What happened was, as well, we got together with the professor and we decided, hey, let's make music for the kids. You know what I mean? Todd, I'd like the kids at home to know that the Aquabats, we have a new album out. It's called The Aquabats vs. The Floating Eye of Death. It's a little bit different. It's not as... It's more... Do you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. Kids, don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of it. Embrace new. Do you know what I mean? We felt that if we were to play rock and roll wearing normal clothes, we wouldn't be the Aquabats. It would be the normal guys. We need people to know that we're a, we're a tight group, a unit of super dudes that can stand up to what the world needs now is love. Because that's what kids need today. They need love. They need milk for strong teeth and hair, bones. And they also need music to make them dance. What's up, cheese? Represent home slice. This is a W. And this is an O. And in our gang, what does that spell? Dude, word. The first two CDs we made, The Return of the Aquabats and The Fury of the Aquabats, we wrote them at the beginning of the Aquabats onslaught to the world. And that was about three or four years ago. Actually, four or five? I can't remember. It's been too long. <laughs> anyway, this past year, 1998 and 99, we took some time off to write some songs. And we wrote them. <laughs> Do you have any uh, parting words that you want the television land to know before you go? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is disgusting. Make sure your half and half is always cooled, chilled. Because if it's warm, it's sick. It is sick. Best friends forever, homies. Represent. <laughs> Come on, Todd. No. How's some half and half? Come on, dude. No. Drink it. Come on, buddy. Oh,